there's some people that think of uh, just sound as the thing that you need to get to, you know, the sound of the piano or a particular sound. But the imagination uh, uses everything, right? Visualization, sometimes it's words, sometimes it's shapes. And sometimes I think, I, I think of sound as a material. It could be fur, it could be cotton, something hard like, you know, wood or cement or rock or something. And so you, you then try and say, okay, what, what kind of quality do you give to that kind of sound? Jungle Night by Sandra Boynton. What inspired you to write Jungle Night and include music in it? Well, I was inspired to write Jungle Night because um, a friend of mine who's a novelist is good friends with Yo-Yo Ma, and she said, you two should absolutely work together. Um, you both have grandchildren, he loves children, and you're both um, kind of like children yourself, very playful and um, just lively, and it would be a great collaboration. I've done soundtracks, but not for books. So this is the very first time that I did a soundtrack for a book, which is very exciting. It's really Sandy Boynton who, who thought up the idea and actually even thought of the idea of the specific sounds that the animals would make in Jungle Night. And then I would try to match it on the cello. We grunt, we grunt, go the Red River Hogs. Bra -bupin, bra -bupin. Go the green jungle frogs. What was fun is then adding more animals and saying, okay, well, if the tiger does zizu ha, you know, zizu ha, um, and if the cheetah then does chi, chi, ta, you go, okay, well, now I have monkeys in the new one. What do the monkeys do? Um, and I love the sound of words and I love music. So, I mean, some the monkeys, for example, do it, chatter choo, chatter choo, you know, because it's a very monkey like sound what was your favorite animal sound to play in jungle night oh my gosh i think it was the elephant because not only does the elephant make that very loud noise where it wakes up the whole forest the whole jungle but you could also hear the echo afterwards so it's a and then you, go, you hear the echo uh, that echoes through the forest and you, so you get the feeling of space. You get the feeling like this is not only a sound that's happening in one place, but that it kind of reverberates throughout uh, the whole jungle. And, and, and that's the thing that, that ends up waking everybody up. Yeah, that sound was my favorite too. It was really like, dramatic and surprising. <laughs> yes, that's right, that's right. Well, was there anything that was challenging about creating it? Well, I think uh, no. It was more like uh, it was more like an adventure, you know. An adventure, as you know, is dealing with surprises, unexpected things, and and so I I think challenge not in the negative way, but challenge as in like yeah, let's try and let's try and just get that just just so. Yeah, you can always learn something from a challenge. Absolutely, absolutely, and then you get so such satisfaction after you, you know, you, uh, your team member, teammate or, uh, says, yes, I think that's it, we got it, you know, and, and that's, that's a great feeling.